Good morning. This video, I want to briefly look at the uh, issue of uh, Song of Solomon and uh, Peter Ruckman and the um, Gene Kim. He's putting out the idea, well, this woman was a Hamite, according to them, black woman. We read verse 5, I am black but comely. O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Keto, as, as the curtains of, of Solomon, look not upon me because I am black, because the sun hath looked upon me. The sun is what made a black. It wasn't a race. She's saying despite the fact that the sun is burnt, that she's still attractive. My mother's children were angry with me. They made me a keeper of the vineyards, but my own vineyard I have not kept. So verse 5 is the definitive verse of the song when trying to locate historically who the bride is. The bride is set in contrast to the daughters of Jerusalem. She's a gen she is Gentile, not Jewish. Moreover, she is a Gentile with black skin, which marks her out as a, a negress from the land of Ham. That Hamitic bride is found in 1 Kings 3 1. <laughs> now he's trying to say she's the, the uh, Pharaoh's uh, Pharaoh, or the wife of uh, Solomon. Uh, he goes on more about the Egyptians. Let me take a picture. Does this woman look like a, a black woman to you? He, he's not going to put up a black woman on his thing. That's what you get there. Does that woman look like what's the description of the woman in the uh, scriptures? Black but comely? A hypocrite double talk. He loves his own Solomon. He thinks that's where you find all the stuff in tribulation and all that stuff. Because he can allegorize all, all, all over the place. This means this, and this means that, and that's connected over here. Look at this verse over here, and look at over that. So I just want to put this up real quick and just remember this is, when you're talking about when old Kim is talking about the, you know, the Black Bride. That's what it was put on Buckman's cover. Amen. Thank you.